So, <laughs> check this out. I got this CTR natural fueled wristband, and I got this fucking... I don't even know what the fuck this is, bro. But this was wrapped up in the little wrapping package thing. And I thought for the, the entirety I was at PAX. And when I came home, I thought this shit was a shirt. This shit is not a shirt. I was going to wear this to compensate the, at the fact that I don't have gameplay of CTR Natural Field or the original CTR to showcase on screen. But this isn't a shirt, so you're just going to get me wearing my Tupac shirt as well as my uh, CTR wristband. So, I'm going to cut straight to the chase. What do I think about CTR Natural Field? How does it play? How do you feel? How does it feel? Or whatever. And I'll tell you now that it actually controls really close to the original CTR on the PS1. It's a uh, PS1 counterpart. I'd say it's about 90% accurate and 10% realistic. Like, it feels a little bit like CMK, but it mostly feels like CTR. It feels really nice. Um, it ran at a smooth 30 frames, I believe. I don't think it was running at 60. I don't think they have PS4 Pros at PAX East because I did play it. Um... So yeah, it's definitely worth a cop. I'm gonna get it. I actually pre-ordered it already. I got the Nitrous Oxide Edition already a few days ago. Um, what do I think about the skins? Well, I do appreciate the fact that they are including retro skins reminiscent of the PS1 CTR character models, which is really, uh, which is really cool. I like that little nod. I also really appreciate that they are acknowledging content and character. Uh, you know, characters. You know, apply to content it's the same thing, but. I do appreciate the fact that they are acknowledging content beyond the original trilogy because people seem to be stuck in that. Um, so it's cool to see CNK get some love. It is interesting but kind of weird that they won't be including the anti-gravity me uh, mechanics uh, from CNK, I think it was called, uh, you know, on certain stages. And what's weird is that, that kind of that's kind of what defined or like made cnk distinct from the original ctr because it had those anti-gravity stages so for them to include stages from that game you know that had those mechanics but not have the actual anti-gravity mechanics it's a little sus to me it's a little weird but i did know i, I do know that they, the stages are readjusted to uh you know uh fit you know people that play the original ctr and just for them to be objectively good tracks to you know race on le level design good track design or whatever so that is great. Um, now, Canadian guy A, shout out to you, bruh. Uh, and also shout out to my wearer because if I didn't do this, if he was if I'm tweeting at me, I probably wouldn't have done this video. So I'm just kind of trying to go through this really quick. Um, Crunch. All right. So Canadian guy actually told me about Crunch coming to CTR Natural Fuel before it, like, it was made public uh, a day after Sunday because I met him on Sunday at PAX. Um, what I find a little... Excuse me. What I find a little strange about Crunch is the fact that, you know, since they're reusing uh, assets from CTR Nitro Fueled, right? You know, I mean, not, not CTR Nitro Fueled, fuck. <laughs> they're reusing assets from Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, right? Now, I remember back then when CTR Nitro Fueled was revealed at the Game Awards, people were on my ass because I pointed out that they were using, they were reusing the same assets from insane and people deemed me as hating on it or whatever now i wasn't hating on it it was more so i was kind of confused and a little concerned about it and crunch is mainly the reason why now you know you know it kind of makes sense um since they are reusing the same assets from ct um, crash insane trilogy right and crunch is going to be in nitro fueled and possibly you know other characters that weren't in in there um you know it's hard to tell with how Crunch is going to look because he wasn't an insane, especially since Insane's assets and models and shit are in CTR Natural Field, so it's a little weird. So that's my only concern with Crunch is like, how is he going to look? Are they going to go with this CNK look? Are they going to go with this Wrath of Cortex look? I know for a goddamn fact they're not going to go for his Titans look, and I know they're not going to go for his Modern for Mutant look. No, that's not me hating. I love Titans and Modern for Mutant. I'm not having that discussion. But nonetheless, I'm very appreciative of B Knox acknowledging content beyond the original trilogy, and I can only hope that this is a sign that we will get a new Crash game. Because back then, when I did videos on the Crash series, I didn't do content on the series, uh, you know, just because I wanted a new game. I did, I did not only, excuse me, not only because I wanted to get a new title. Like I was, I acknowledged the fact that a. HD trilogy of the original games 
you know, could be, you know, could be a possibility. I did a video on that because someone sent me a message on PSN years ago. You know, I was always open to that happening, right? But I probably would have preferred Insane happening after a new game, to be honest, because it has been 11 years, practically, since we got a new installment to the series. I did videos on Crash Bandicoot for five to six, maybe seven years, because I love the series, and I wanted a new game. I didn't want, you know, the Insane Trilogy or anything like that. I didn't even want CTR Nitro Fueled. Um, but, you know, it's cool that it's happening, and it is sweet that they are acknowledging things beyond, you know, Naughty Dog. Shout out to my wearer, shout out to Canadian guy, no, shout out to Canadian guy, hey, shout out to Destination Mark, shout out to all of y'all doing y'all thing, and um, I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, it feels a little refreshing talking about Crash again, but at the same time, I do wish that, you know, uh, you know, it was a new game, because for real, you know, I didn't grow up with the Crash series when new entries, like, dropped. I never had that feeling of excitement, like, oh my god, a new game, like, what are they gonna do with this, blah, blah, blah. I never experienced that, so, you know, I hope I get to experience that. I don't want remakes to be the, the new thing to, you know, that I can experience or whatever, if you get what I'm saying. I don't want to sound selfish or anything or entitled. I just really hope we get a new title because I don't want no more remakes after this, so, yeah. Also, side note, unrelated. I have a eight year anniversary stream happening tomorrow and I'm gonna be playing games that were primarily like on my channel, different eras of games that I played on my channel that kinda define my channel in some way, shape or form. I'm gonna be playing Pokemon, I'm gonna be playing Crash Bandicoot, I'm gonna be playing Smash Brothers and I'm gonna be playing Bloody Roar and I'll try to squeeze in a couple of other things too because it is gonna be like a normal stream like I do on my Twitch except this one's gonna be a little more special. So. If you're down uh, at 5.30 uh, p.m. Eastern Time, 2.30 p.m. Pacific Time, uh, 4.30 p.m. Central Time, uh, come through and I should be live for about 5, 6, 7, maybe 8 hours if I'm just that crazy enough to do it. Sorry if I sound a little weird, my nose is a little stuffy, but yeah. You guys have yourselves a good one and I'll see you guys later. Peace.